Hi and welcome to this six part video series in which we're going to be looking at the essentials of search engine optimization. In this first video we're going to look at what SEO is. So what is it? Well the search engines uh, when they're deciding the order in which to show search results uh, look at two basic factors. One is relevance and the other is authority. Relevance is measured uh, by how close a match there is between your content and the search terms. Authority is measured by a number of factors including the age of your domain, the number of pages, the number and quality of links, plus increasingly social indicators. And I'll say a bit more about how social and search are converging um, a bit later in this video. So at its very fundamental level, SEO is about ensuring that your website can be found in the search engines for phrases that are relevant to what you have to offer. Now there are two dimensions to SEO. The first is uh, known as on-page optimization, and this is all about the relevance of your content. So there are two things uh, that we uh, are doing here. First of all, we're picking the best keywords around which to structure the content of the website. And secondly, we're making it as clear as possible to the search engines uh, that our pages are relevant to those keywords. And we do that by ensuring that the keywords are included in all the important parts of our web pages. Uh, those places being the title of the page, the headings, the content itself, and it's important um, that, the, uh, that we get the keyword density right, so we mention it the right number of times, not too little, not too often. Uh, and the final place where we need to be using our keywords is in the back end of our web pages, in the meta description and meta tags. And these are essentially notes for the benefit of the search engines, uh, which help them to index our content and understand the keywords that are relevant to that content. So that's on-page optimization. And the other dimension is off-page optimization, which is all about the authority of our web pages and our domain as a whole. So when other websites link to ours, uh, those inbound links that are created are viewed by the search engines essentially as a vote for the website or for the web page uh, in question. And the more votes you have, the more authority your site has. Now there are two main benefits of inbound links. First of all, the more links you have, the more authority there will be for the page being linked to and the domain as a whole. And secondly, uh, inbound links help to increase the relevance of the page for the keywords that are used in the anchor text of the link. The anchor text is the clickable text of the link. So in these examples here, um, in the first instance, if, if Bob uh, were to have lots of inbound links using the anchor text Bob's hardware store, uh, that would um, probably not be terribly helpful to Bob because he's almost certainly going to be number one for any search inquiry for Bob's hardware store because it's his business name. Uh, however, Bob would find it very useful to have lots of links using the anchor text by power tools at Bob's hardware store if he wants to rank for the keyword phrase by power tools. So as you can see in that, that simple example, the anchor text is very important. Uh, and what, one of the things that um, people often do wrong when they're doing SEO is uh, not to have um, uh, lots of links which are, which are using the correct anchor text and which are linking to specific pages that are relevant for, for those, those keywords. So that's a very important part of off-page optimization. So relevance and authority um, on and off-page optimization. Uh, these are the fundamental concepts um, that SEO is, is built on. But we now have to introduce social media into the mix. 
because SEO is no longer just about keywords and building links. Um, increasingly, Google is now placing emphasis on how much people are interacting with and sharing your website content. So social signals like tweets and Facebook shares, YouTube likes, comments, subscriptions, these are all being given uh, increasing weight by Google and the other search engines. Uh, and Google is also looking very closely at um, the behavior of visitors to your website. In particular, how many pages they're looking at, the length of time they're spending on your site, and uh, how often they're coming back. Uh, because Google regards these as important quality indicators. Remember, Google wants to show the most useful and high quality content to its users. So if people are interacting with your content, if they're sharing it naturally, if they're actually spending time, uh, you know, d drilling down into, into uh, the content that you have to offer and they're coming back time and time again, those are all good indicators um, as far as the search engines are concerned that your content um, is something which um, they, they can happily share with, with their users. Uh, the final point to make about social is that um, I, I, my personal view is that Google Plus One is a potential game changer. And I think we are going to see pages that are recommended uh, more frequently um, via Google Plus One and other means will rank higher regardless of the number and quality of inbound links to, uh, to that content. Um, so, so if you have um, a uh, an, an SEO strategy which doesn't encompass social, I think you are increasingly going to struggle to get your pages uh, on the first uh, page of Google. Um, and if you are there already, I think you know you you, you will probably um, be facing uh, much more intense competition in the future as your competitors um, really start to bring their SEO and social to, together. So that's uh, an important um, trend uh, to, to, to be aware of. Okay, that's it for the um, introductory video. Um, so we've introduced the basic um, SEO concepts. And in the following videos in this series, we're gonna drill down into some of those concepts uh, into a bit more detail and look at how you do some of these things. So thanks for listening and I look forward to speaking to you again soon.